Welcome to CB Off-Road Adventures. Today marks day three of our journey through Kofa Wildlife Refuge, and we're excited to take you along with us as we explore School Rock. In case you missed our first two videos, be sure to check them out and subscribe to our channel for more adventures. Our trail begins at Palm Canyon Road, which is located just 27 miles south of Quartzsite, Arizona. This area boasts stunning views, hiking trails, dispersed camping, skull rock, and an interesting landmark called Cocopelli Spiral. While no one knows who built it or why, the spiral labyrinth is definitely worth a stop. Visitors find it meditative and walk the spiral to the center to leave trinkets as gifts. This 60-foot spiral takes roughly 9 minutes to walk to the center following the spiral, but the journey can help clear your mind and relieve stress. As you continue on the trail, you'll come across a sign for Kofa Queen Canyon. This is the path to School Rock, but if you're up for a hike, be sure to check out Palm Canyon, which is only four miles up the road. This easy one and a half mile round trip lets you explore a beautiful canyon that leads to perhaps the only native California palms in Arizona. The canyon creates a perfect microclimate for these palms to thrive. This is another Kofa mystery, as it's unknown how long they've been there or how they got there. to Kofa Queen Canyon is just four miles up the trail and easy to traverse. However, once you enter the canyon, you'll encounter soft washes with medium-sized rocks. While we did not need four-wheel drive, we recommend having a good set of all-terrain tires at least for this area. The drive to the canyon is fantastic and you'll be able to take in breathtaking views of Kofa Mountains. Keep an eye out for natural arches and bighorn sheep along the way. Although we did not see much wildlife, the park was established for these bighorn sheep and they love the steep rocky mountainsides. The Kofa Mountains are named after the King of Arizona gold mine in the area. The mining operation used to mark K of A on its property and the mine was commonly referred to as the Kofa Mine which is why the park retained the name after it became a wildlife refuge in 1939. While you can camp anywhere in this area, be sure to follow the rules and only camp within 100 feet of the road. Additionally, do not camp within a quarter mile of any water source. A few miles further into the canyon, you will spot a tall, narrow rock column on your left with a natural arch. Just below this column is Skull Rock, our destination for today. Skull Rock is a massive boulder that has been shaped over time to resemble a human skull. The mouth is big enough to enter and it is evident that previous guests have camped here as the mouth has been blackened by their fires, making it look even more eerie. explored this area and hiked up to the tall, narrow rock we saw from a distance. It was incredible. This rock was enormous, and we were surprised at how little earth was holding it up. The large arch under the rock provided stunning views of the area, and it was fascinating to see how weathering in this canyon has shaped this massive rock formation. If you are ever in the Yuma or Quartzsite area, Kofa Wildlife Refuge is a must-visit destination. The park offers numerous activities for outdoor enthusiasts, and you can easily spend half a day or a whole week exploring all that Kofa has to offer. Thanks.
Thanks for spending your time with us on this adventure exploring Kofa Wildlife Refuge. And if you'd like to see more of our adventures, make sure you subscribe and follow along.